Hi, and welcome to a quick overview of the new Switch DX Cube. If you're familiar with the old version of the product, you'll notice there's significant user interface improvements from the last version. With the introduction of this digital readiness score, where we're able to now assess a building's digital readiness through scoring the pieces of equipment we discover through this digital audit. The DXQ product is a digital audit of your building and connected devices. So you can see the digital readiness score here. We've got factors that are potentially impacting that score. We have the network details of, uh, well, site details, I should say. We've got a network performance tile. We've got the protocols and ports, and we've got a firmware audit built in. And we also can identify the integration opportunities through standard industry open protocols. So starting off with the digital readiness score. Within here, we can actually see there's a whole list here. This is actually quite a large site with over 1300 connected IP devices on the network. So we can see here at a glance, you can roll down the list and see all the devices, the model numbers, the manufacturers. But the nice thing is that we can also filter by some of these categories here. So as an example, if I wanna look for my air handler unit controllers in my building management system, I can do that. You can see there's three identified devices and there's a duplicate IP of that, but this is the, the connected one. So we can have the list there. We can actually then clear that out and apply. And then we can come back to the entire list and drill down any of these individual components um, as you need to and investigate. So if we have a look at the network switches, we've got the Dakin hardware IT server there for the building management system as well. See the IP addresses and how many points are available to us from that. Coming back to the home screen, we can also navigate to why some devices. So since our last scan that was completed on the 4th of April, you can see there's 1,258 devices that are responding within two seconds. And we've got 40 devices since the last scan um, that are offline, which is a 25 more devices down from, from the last time. We've also got to an opportunity in here to identify really the integration paths that are available to us on the network and the respective ports that are here, and you can actually acknowledge these as users if the IT stakeholders deem that they're not exposed to the internet. So it's a uh, more of an internal check. But the thing that you know we're particularly interested in is that the backnet ports and open protocols are open to our network device. Generally, a firmware audit as well, where we can, you know, understand how many versions of firmware there are. So on this Johnson controls device here, we've got uh, four identified versions of firmware. So vendors and teams can actually understand and, and update as, a, as appropriate, update the firmware as needed. And you can actually see the changes over time. So we've had a, an increase of devices um, that have got multiple versions of firmware since the last couple of scans. And then finally, down the bottom here, this is just a high level view of the protocols that have been identified in the list and how many devices there. So this is actually a good sign. So from the landing page, you can immediately tell that this site is obviously, it's building, uh, sorry, it's digital ready. We can harvest data from this site and apply fault detection and visualizations to this and do full you know, systems analytics and equipment, and equipment performance analytics. Uh, from this single screen and we can actually drill down if your report doesn't look something like this. So hope that's somewhat informative and thank you.